Hello, everyone! It's daytime! I'm Buster the Fox, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links The Ladder Battle, a series in which I attempt to climb the ladder of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. But, of course, we're back in the KC Cup. In the last episode, we left off on a loss after a six-duel win streak. No good, no good. But we're going to get back to that this episode. Before that, I keep on forgetting to point out, I turned off the chat up there, so you don't have to deal with uh, any of the spam. <laughs> so, you're welcome, I guess. I've tried to uh, cover them up in some previous episodes, but some of them still slipped through the cracks. So, <laughs> might as well just turn it off anyway. I don't really use the global chat even when I'm playing on my own, so... There you go. So, Bert2700 playing as Seto Kaiba. Apparently he's gotten to gold rank because his uh, icon has been up that high. I I need to play some off-camera ranking duels because it takes a while to gain a lot of ranks. This is a hype hand. Let me show you what we're going to do here. So, Cure Mermaid. She's great, I like having her around, but we're not going to keep her. Yes. Imagine if I had hit no by accident. I would have been turbo screwed. And now we're keeping him around. So whatever he puts out next, if we don't like it, we get rid of it. Then we take Umi and put it right back up on the field. <clears throat> That is Ancient Dragon with Black Pendants. He should have something else to equip to it. Or else he won't be able to kill Daedalus. And he has Banner of Courage. Still will not be enough unless he has... Nope, okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to play Grarl. I legit thought he was going to play Grarl. Alright, so that stuff, uh, I don't like it. Go away. Watch that trap. Okay, never mind. Uh, Black Pendant, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, Umi comes back out, please. And a Needle Sunfish to add on to the pressure. So this is going to be a turn 3 win. <laughs> oh dear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> when this deck gets going, it it does kills like this. <laughs> that could have been turn 2 had I not gone first. Let's put it that way. That was basically... Yeah, it was a turn 2 kill. Quick victory. As far as... It, it was my second turn. Okay, well, there we go. Let's claim that gold. 1500 DP. Oh, some lag. That happens occasionally when I've been recording for a long time. <laughs> Alright, let's get into our second match of the day. We're only about four minutes into the episode, and already, already we have one win. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's so exciting and hype when stuff like that happens. <laughs> Especially considering this is a deck I came up with on my own. Uh, so that's a Japanese player playing Yami Yugi. Why are you in this group? When you chose your region, you could have chosen Asia. Well, whatever. I don't suppose it matters. Maybe you're just a nerd who likes anime, and you decided to give yourself a Japanese name. So, we have some more hype. Check out the hype. I'm thinking I want to keep this. I'm going to keep this, because if, if something goes wrong here, then I can just use Unshaven to get Daedalus out. Um... Okay, so he's gonna kill me. Wonder Balloons. Ooh. Okay. So I was gonna say, if this Cure Mermaid survived, I would have gotten my life points during my next standby phase, but... 
That's fine. I'll just have to do the board wipe. Little does he know <laughs> that I spared him the trouble from the get-go. Alright, let's see what we get. Pretty good, but not as good as what I'm going to do here. More, er, Unshaven Angler, not more of Greed. Big wave, small wave. I really, really want to get rid of your Wonder Balloons, my friend. And Daedalus comes out again. Let's go ahead and activate that effect. Kapow! And now we have a hundred more attack points for once. Usually we lose attack points doing that. Obviously. But this time we didn't because we used it to kill a Wonder Balloon. <laughs> oh, I love Daedalus. He's so overpowered. He, he board wipes. He sweeps the entire board clean. It's so overpowered. Oh my gosh. And people say that the Rex Raptor deck is the best one you can make. I'm not entirely sure. Alright. So I can kill with Unshaven. So whatever this is, I'm going to attack it. Twin-Headed Behemoth. Not going to matter. Bye bye Oh my gosh. Two very quick, very hype duels in a row. <laughs> oh my gosh. This just makes me so happy. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't want to... I want to try to remain as humble as possible, but I'm clearly very bad at that. <laughs> uh, Alright. I just love seeing these kinds of results from my own personal deck. Alright, let's get into duel number three. About seven minutes into the episode. <laughs> oh... I don't know what I'm going to title this episode, but it's probably going to be something like the most hype episode ever, or my deck is powerful. Okay, I kinda, I'm going to have to reread that that username, but we're fighting a Yami Yugi. We're going second, and he's got a 30 card deck. Oh, he's got the, uh, the Valentine event sleeves. Alright, so, Akadime Wida, Shard of Greed, I don't like that card. Every single time that I've ever seen that card, I've gotten a twister and have been able to destroy it. Not today, apparently. I'm probably just going to let that go through, much as it sucks. So, I'm not going to be able to kill that, actually, with what I have, so let's get rid of these two and set Yomi ship, or at least... Unless I don't get high tide. Which I do! Okay. So I'll be able to kill that. Cool. Kapow. Okay, so take him out. Good, good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, we are having connection issues. Please stand by. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That never lasts quite as long as I fear it will. Alright, so there's Jar of Greed number one. If I get Twister next turn, I'd rather destroy Yami, just so you all know. Um, even though it sucks to let him get two cards for free. It's basically Jar of Greed, except that it takes two turns to actually activate. He's going to try to kill me on a coin toss. Yep, I swear, that happens like 75% of the time when you use Time Wizard. I swear, it's specifically rigged. Somehow, the powers that be have made it that way. Alright, I don't have anything to summon with Big Wave, Small Wave. Uh, I guess I'll just do Piercing Moray in case he decides to summon something in defense mode. Although, this might be the win. The music will let me know. No, probably not yet, then. <laughs> the music changes usually if you have enough to kill. Oh, I'm 50 points short! Now watch him turn the duel around and kill me. Watch. Watch it happen, because I was 50 points short. So now he gets two more cards. Alright. Who oh boy. What kind of combo can you pull out? Let me see what you got, buddy. Oh, 
Uh, usually when this happens, they surrender. Please don't surrender, you'll get less points. <laughs> Play until the end. Okay, good. Oh, he's actually summoning something. During your standby phase, increase your life points. Okay, I don't think that... Yeah, that wasn't a serious play. He surrendered. Oh, well. <laughs> Still a win for us. Obviously, I count that as a plus. Interesting that I'm only getting 150 uh, character EXP per duel here. Um, considering you get 500 every time you uh, beat a regular NPC duelist. So let's search for another uh, opponent here. About 11 and a half minutes into this episode. Boy, that was third, fourth opponent, and we're only about halfway through to the allotted time that I usually give for my episodes. <laughs> Ooh, a bandit Keith. Limla. If this is playing a machine deck, we're going to have a huge advantage because of Umi. Just want you all to know that. Not a bad opening hand, and I get to go second, so that's good. Couple of extra deck cards and a 30 card deck in general. Alright, he doesn't have any sleeves or anything. I don't suppose that means anything. Twin Barrel Dragon, he has machines. So he wants to kill Umi. Sweet. He has to get two heads to destroy that. And that only works when he's actually summoned, so we're good to go there. Daedalus! Hey, buddy! How you doing? Let's put out Cure Mermaid. We don't seem to have anything particularly better to do right now, so... Hopefully she'll be able to give us some extra LP through the time we have here. He has a trap he can use. Either that, or we are experiencing connection issues once more. You can see the arrow, that means my attack has been declared, so... Oh, Spear Karibo. Okay. Shoot! <laughs> I just can't use Cure Mermaid anymore. Oh well. He's gonna kill her. That is a shame. I like this card. <clears throat> Aha, switcheroo. So I did find out what that does. It is indeed a card trader, but uh, he can only use it twice per duel. So yeah. So whatever he had obviously wasn't very useful, and whatever he just got probably isn't very useful either. <laughs> and who knows, if he had a 20 card deck, he might have gotten something that he wanted. Alright, but he still gets to kill me, so I shouldn't be uh, throwing shade, as the kids say. <laughs> I only just properly learned what that means today. <laughs> yeah, I feel old sometimes. Right. You got a trap? Yes, you do. Embodiment. Okay. Uh, will I be able to kill that? How much defense he got? No, I can't kill him. Okay, but he won't be able to kill me if he switches to attack position, so I'm just going to go ahead and attack here. There we go. Alright. I'd say we're about evenly matched here. I'm definitely not in a position where I have the advantage. Although he has uh, less cards in his hand, so he does have less options. Although, that embodiment of Apophis could stall me out. Um, let's see what we get. If I don't get anything better, I'll use Starboy. Starboy it is. Alright, this way I can kill his uh, embodiment. Starboy has gotten me some pretty hype stuff in the past. Even though he's just a normal card, as far as rarity is concerned, I'm going to take a chance here. Oh man! Oh well. I'll be able to replay my card next turn. Okay, I still killed it though. That would have happened one way or the other. 
That's the beauty of flip effects. Even if I hadn't have destroyed it, he could have uh, flipped it to attack mode. If he wanted to. Alright, um... So, Piercing Moray. Let's go ahead and put Sunfish back out again, since his effect is good for when he leaves the field. If I get Big Wave, Small Wave, um, that'll be good. Let's attack with him first, just to see... Alright, so he doesn't have any traps he can use, otherwise it would have paused for him to hit the back button. Never mind. What gives? Nutrient Z, of course. Alright. Well, that was a thing. No problem, though. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I think it's just prolonging the inevitable. Alright, so he just ended his turn outright. Um, let's put out High Tide to get some extra damage. That should be enough to get the kill, but just in case, let's put out Card Trader. Alright, tell me. Yep, it's ready to go. <laughs> Kapow. And let's end it. Awesome. And that is yet another win for the counter. Alright, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, where are we at now? Get my XP and all my stuff. Come back, victory. I guess. Oh, cool, so we are level 3 now. And we are back to a 4 duel, uh, a win streak of 4. So we're getting back into the swing of things here. Let's go ahead and claim whatever this is. Some more gems. Oh, uh, yeah. Before long, I'll be buying some more packs. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, should we do one more? Nearly 18 minutes in. Yeah, let's do one more. Why not? Give you guys a slightly longer episode unless it becomes another short duel. <laughs> but yeah, just one more. Let's do it. Maybe get up to that five win streak. I'm thinking after this one I might start playing some off-camera. I mean, it, it only lasts until... What? The 5th? Ooh, we're playing... Uh, looks like a either Japanese or Korean player. Playing Rex Raptor. Alright, so I hope I get Twister. <laughs> As you saw in the first um, KC Cup episode of the series... Um, it was only due to me getting rid of Jurassic World that I was able to... Oh, no! I have Umi in the hand, though. It's fine. Element Saurus. Aha. I can actually kill that with High Tide as soon as I play Umi again. <laughs> I have a lot of good removal options here. As you see, I have Needle Sunfish, I have Michi, um, and, of course, High Tide is going to be able to kill... So, here we go. And let's do the attack. Give him your 50 life points of damage. Um, right, he did D-Spell. I've noticed a lot of players have been doing D-Spell. Personally, um, I prefer Twister. I'm not sure. It could be because Twister is a super rare. So just not everybody has it. Ooh. So you get to negate the effects of my monsters and you get extra attack. Well, I'm going to use Michi on you, that's for sure. So this isn't a entirely dinosaur deck. That guy is a good card for sure, but unfortunately he has so much aggro on him that people with Michi know for sure when they want to destroy him. <laughs> Alright, so what do we get? Daedalus. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know if that Needle Sunfish will last long enough, and who knows if I get Big Wave, Small Wave next turn, so... Okay, well, in that case, let's use Cure Mermaid. Up you go. And let's hit you with an attack. Dude, he has no cards in his hands. He is top decking. And I've got card traders, so that 
means, aside from me already having a card, I have an advantage here. Um, of course, if he does happen to get one of his 1600 attack dinos, we'll be in trouble. If I get Twister, on the other hand, um, then we're going to be golden, because we can get rid of that. Alright, what you got? Don't surrender, because I can't kill... Well, I can actually kill you next turn, but... Whatever you have, don't surrender until it's over. You don't know if I have something to summon. Uh, okay, connection issues. That happens, that happens. Alright, so that was the connection failure. Um, I think I probably had that one in the bag either way, but still. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Hate it. It doesn't feel like a legitimate win, you know what I mean? But still, 5 win streak. We are good to go. Um, so yeah, there we go. We are moving up in the ranks, baby. So that's going to be it for me this episode. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. And please remember to leave a like before you go. But until next time, goodbye everyone. It's night time.